Did you put... Product. The same product I always use. Why? Oh. What's wrong? Your hair is just kind of flat. What have you so done to this damn sorry. Just see where it goes, they said. A therapist said that? Just see where it goes? That's some crap. I'm tired of saying Hi, I'm Alicia Decker, co-founder of Mended Light. And I'm Jonathan Decker, licensed therapist and also co-founder of Mended Light. Lucky. <laughs> I'm lucky because I'm with you. Aww. Oh, you're kidding. That's so sweet. So we asked, we asked our viewers, what are some of the most ridiculous things that therapists have said to them, most harmful things that therapists have said to them? And one was in a casual relationship that you should just take it easy and see where it goes. Now on the surface of that, that seems like, you know, Pretty decent advice, it's how a lot of people look at it. But I see it differently. I mean, I, I think when you have a casual relationship, you need to establish boundaries, otherwise things are gonna get out of hand. What do you think? Well, it just depends. I mean, yeah, I agree with you. I think boundaries absolutely have to be established. And even if that boundary is, we're friends with benefits, or we're both looking for- a, like us. Exactly. <laughs> or we're both looking for a more serious relationship, like, it's not that there's a right or wrong boundary to set. It's more about both people being on the same page, having yeah. the same boundary, and that being clear. Are we clear, Crystal? You're a planner. I am. What happens when people just see where things go? Like, not even talking about casual relationships, just like in life. What, what tends to happen? Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> I love the line uh, from Alice in Wonderland that... If you don't know where you want to go, any road will take you there. And I think yeah. that basically sums it up. Yeah. Then it really doesn't matter which way you go. Well, because even in casual relationships, you need to know like, what are you looking for? Are you looking for fun? Are you looking for companionship? Are you, are you looking just to, you know, casual hookup? Or are you looking to get to know this person and it could evolve into something more later on? You yeah. have to know, okay, it's casual now, but what does that mean moving forward? So the first thing I would say is don't start like on a first, second date saying, what do you want out of this relationship? What do you want out of life? How many that's, kids do you that's want? That's a little intense. Calm down, get a hold of yourself. Just please let me handle this. Now, red flags. That's a, now you went on some dates. <laughs> I love it. So you went on some dates. Some. Before we met, couple, here and there. Occasionally. Anyone ever come on too strong, too fast? And I'm not talking about physically, I'm talking about like, they wanted to get serious or they wanted to talk about your, you know, how many kids do you want or... Yeah, I don't, I don't no. Hmm. You're lying. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, no, that's it. No, I was saying, no, I don't want to talk about that. Oh, oh, you don't want to talk about that in the video. No, no, on a date. Oh, like oh, I see. It was too, that they did. It was too intense. Yeah. And it, don't want it to, that's intense. Did that, did that's that intense. We have a very clear communication and we're always on the same page. You feel love. So did that tend to lead to second dates, third dates? No. Why not? No, that... <laughs> So, you know, I heard the question one time, what is the one reason that relationships end? Like, if you could sum up the reason all relationships end. Death. Uh, no, that wasn't the answer, <laughs> but that's, that's morbid. <laughs> you played very well, Death. No, but it's differing expectations, mm. right? You know, if the expectation from the one person it, that is that they're looking for their soulmate and, yeah. and the other person is, you know, has goals when it comes to career, school, whatever it is, they're not looking for their soulmate. And so that's where having the conversation to get your expectations on the same page. Yeah. Because if one person leads very strongly with drastically different expectations, it's a huge turnoff yeah. to the other person. Especially if the other person either, you know, puts their foot down equally strong and then it's a big mm -hmm. thing, or they just retreat and say, okay, we'll do whatever you want. I mean, and I think the conversation needs to happen early, just not like first or second date. Yeah. You know? Well, cause there's nothing, there's nothing to go off of. Like, where do you see this going? Well, and I see it nowhere. as- Nowhere. Nowhere. I see it going nowhere because I don't know you. Because we're having coffee or dinner. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. absolutely. Well, and I, I look at this like, you want to give it a few dates or a few outings or whatever the kids call it these days, we're hanging out, whatever you're doing, you want to give it a few, a few weeks at least before you have this conversation, because you don't even know right out of the gate if you want to 
have any sort of relationship with this person. You might think, oh, there's chemistry here, but that doesn't mean you have that conversation. You know, you need time to get to know this person to see if, okay, is this a conversation I wanna have? Well, and there's conversations to actually have with the other person about setting boundaries, but it's really important to know what your own boundaries are. And as you mentioned earlier, I'm such a planner. So when, <laughs> when I was in college, I, I had a really strict rule be, because it's, once again, it's not about right, wrong, good, bad. It's about knowing what your needs are and then building a life that fits those needs and what works for you. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a Nickmo kind of person. What Nick, is Nickmo? Nickmo is a Utah term for non-committal makeout. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not a physical touch without commitment kind of person. You're a Kimo person. Yeah. So I don't, I don't want to make out with you. I don't want to sleep with you. Like just for the fun of it. That's, that's not my MO. That is totally cool. If that is your MO. Um, yeah. and so for me, my boundary, you know, when it came to dating, getting to know people, things like that is that I would not have, like, I didn't want to kiss them. I didn't want to make out with them, anything like that, unless I had known them for at least a month mm -hmm. and I had gone on three dates with them. Yeah. Like that was my personal boundary between I'm not going to get physically involved until this time period. Until has I passed. actually get to know you and see. Yeah. You. And that's what that looked like for me. And so it had to be a month and at least three dates. And if someone comes out swinging on the first or second date and they're talking about how many kids do you want to have or where do you see this going? I mean, to me, that's a sign. I want your thoughts on this, that they're more in love with the idea of love than with you because they haven't had a chance to fall in love with you or right. get to know you. So it's really, I don't know if you have anything to add to that. I would agree. All right. I was interested in her thoughts and her thoughts were my thoughts. Sometimes we're completely in sync and sometimes we're backstreet. Now, once you're, I mean, for Alicia, it was a month. Um, there's a great book called How to Avoid Falling in Love with a Jerk that says that it takes at least 90 days for someone to show you who they are. Now, I'm not saying you wait 90 days to start having a relationship with someone. I think a month is a good is a good byline, but you don't like race to the finish line at a month. You say, okay, now we're starting right. something. In the book you referenced, it talks about the stages of getting to know someone. And if you rush into physical connection, physical touch, too quickly, yeah. it shades the rest of your relationship. And so that was like, you know, when I made that decision, it, you know, I was just a kid still, like I was a teenager. Like I didn't know, I didn't know that dad, I didn't know the statistics behind it, but basically I didn't want, you know, rushing too quickly into a physical relationship of any, any kind, like even just holding hands or kissing to shade the way I saw that person. Here's your science fact really fast for why that is. Uh, when we are physically involved with somebody, the brain releases dopamine, which is a pleasure hormone. Wee! Wee! <laughs> but it also releases oxytocin and vasopressin, which are bonding hormones. And so when you get physically involved with someone very early, you bond with them psychologically, emotionally, chemically, which if you don't actually know them, can lead you to think that you are more in love with them than you actually are. It gets all, like you were saying, it gets all murky and confusing. Well, and it's worth noting that if you do that repeatedly, right? If you yeah. just hook up with people. Casual hookups over and over and over and over. Mm -hmm. The opposite happens and you don't become attached. Yes. And we are biologically wired to be committed, to procreate, to do these things. Yeah. And if your behavior isn't in line with, with that biology to protect yourself, it will it will shut down those bonding hormones. Yeah, like if you if you bond and then separate and bond and then separate, the brain's gonna say, oh, sex or making out or whatever is, I was connected to this person, now I lost them, that was painful, so I'm gonna feel less connected next time. It's just gonna be at the pleasure. And the dopamine will be released, but not the oxytocin, not the vasopressin. So each casual hookup leads to less and less emotional bonding and where physicality becomes, that's that's all there is. Right. And you can slowly get that back, but I mean, if, if you are in a committed relationship with somebody, the brain can reassociate it with bonding and with, you know, being close with someone. But the flip side of that is it's hard to stay faithful to a person when you've become accustomed to the variety, right? Mm -hmm. The variety show. Uh, so have a conversation early on when we talk about casual relationships. Casual means different things to different people. We, we referenced this at the beginning. Does casual mean to you, I'm just looking for a physical, hey, I'm just looking for a good time. Friends with benefits. Friends with benefits. <laughs> There's a country song that 
is not our relationship at all, but we sing it all the time, which is, hey, I'm just looking for a good time, like a casual hookup. We love slightly trashy country songs, don't My judge us. My kids know all the words. Yeah, they don't know what it means. <laughs> <laughs> Are you looking for a casual hookup? Are you looking for, well, I, we can see where this goes, but I'm not super open to a relationship right now, or I'll never love again, right? Or th yeah, this could be serious later on, but let's just take it easy, take it slow. That's part of that conversation, because when you just say keep it casual, that means different things to different people. What's most important is that you're clear on your boundaries with yourself, and then when the time is right, expressing what your needs are or those boundaries to the other person, and that it's respected and reciprocated, and if not, that is a huge red flag. Sometimes you say to me when I fail to communicate, and mm -hmm. it's ironic because I'm a therapist, but you'll say to me with love and a little bit of, a little bit of edge, you'll say, communication. It's a thing. <laughs> it's a thing. <laughs> and it's important at every stage of, of this to communicate where you're at and what you want. You know, part of a casual relationship, okay, if it's casual, how exclusive are we? Are we dating other people? Are we being physical with other people? Are we just seeing each other but keeping it casual? What does that mean? Again, if you don't have the conversation, you may be arriving at very different conclusions like Ross and Rachel with, we were on a break. We were on a break. Right? That meant two different things to them. So you gotta be very clear and very specific. How physical are you going to be? Alicia had a very clear boundary uh, of I'm not gonna kiss somebody until I've known them at least a month, right? And so if someone tried to kiss you- three dates. And three dates. So if someone tried to kiss you on the second date and it had been three weeks, would you specifically say, this is my rule, or would you? Oh no, just, just. Just, <laughs> just, just, just back it on up. Just push them away. Yeah, just push them away, okay. Awkward. I, I would recommend having the conversation. Like, I like you, but here's my rule and here's why. But you know, I, I actually, a girl tried to kiss me uh -huh. that I didn't want to be kissed by. And I, uh, she got this close and I put my hand on her forehead and I stopped her. This is a real thing that happened. I put, it's just hurtful. Like I put my hand right there and just kept her from kissing me. It was, <laughs> well, I'm not gonna do that to you. You guys wanna see some action? 20 minutes later. All right, we're back. If you've, <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, check out our video, do what makes you feel good, they said. Yeah, that just happened. So this has been that therapists say. We hope that you've enjoyed this episode. If you are digging what we're doing here at Mended Light, we're trying to reach and help and serve as many people as we can. So please like, comment, subscribe, click the little bell ringy dingy so you get notified every time so you don't miss a thing. Most importantly, you know people who are struggling, you know people who need what we're doing here, so please pass this along. So until next time, I'm Jonathan Decker. I'm Alicia Decker. And remember to keep shining. We need your light. Oh look, here it comes. It's that video Alicia was telling you about. You got 10 minutes to kill, don't you? You're just sitting around, killing time, waiting for your bus or something. I don't know what you're doing, but watch the vid.